Hello, this is Todd Taylor, the Banjo Man, coming to you live from my studio from Nashville, Tennessee to Spartanburg, South Carolina. When I'm touring or no matter where I'm at, I love watching Trucker Josh TV. And thank you, Trucker Josh, for pulling that freight from Canada to USA and everywhere you go. Without truckers, you know, we wouldn't have a lot of food or anything. May God bless you. Safe travel. <laughs> say that this time uh, running through the US delivering this lumber and uh, running back up to Canada I'm just dipping in here I'm seeing that all of the stores here are now adopting uh, all of the measures that we've that we have in place in Canada as well which is great to see uh, for social distancing they have like lines on the floor they were enforcing it at the uh, I stopped at uh, Walmart for some quick groceries uh, just real quick in and out uh, they were they had the same social distancing measures enforced only allowing a certain amount of people into the building at a time so they implemented it probably about a week or two after we did and uh, I had come down just during that period before they implemented these new measures so I thought that they weren't taking it very serious and I thought that they weren't as as the general where I was traveling anyways didn't feel like they had any measures in place but that's changed now and even this little gas station where I'm at now I just went in there to wash my hands real quick use the bathroom grab a coffee while I was in there and uh, I'm not able to pour my own coffee anymore at least here in Wisconsin I mean every state's different right uh, they pour for me before she even grabbed the cup for me she sanitized her hands put on gloves and then she grabbed a cup poured me my coffee and uh, I didn't have to touch anything so it was great so they've really upped their measures here, uh, sort of to be in line with what we were doing up in Canada. And it's good to see. It's good to see that everyone's being careful. That's good. So let's all continue being careful and hopefully, hopefully we can get through this soon. I would really like a date. I wish we could have a date to be like, this is the date when we go back to normal. If it's September 30th, it's September 30th, but a nice date would be nice, but Alas, the world we live in is very unpredictable and it changes day by day, hour by hour. So let's get to trucking though. And off we go. Today should be a little bit more of an exciting day than yesterday. Provided everything goes smoothly and goes right. Alright, we're here at our shipper, ensuring that when we go in there we won't be speaking moistly on anyone. Have I beaten that joke into the ground yet? You can thank our Prime Minister. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting, interesting pickup because they're going to load me at a dock. Guess I should get this stuff moved. I want it right up against the step here. Yeah, I'm gonna drive right on here and plop it on here. And then I've got to tarp it. And then I'll go pick up my other stuff. Huh. Not very often I back into a dock anymore. But hey, whatever works. Whatever works, I don't mind. Ugh. Yeah. I gotta go move those tarps. I'll move those tarps and we'll be right back. So we're quite a ways down the road in Menominee, Wisconsin. On our way back already. We got both our pickups done. Ooh, 
here they are. First pickup, half of it is tarped. Half of it's under there. This is the other half of it. And our second pickup's back here. It's uh, three bundles of hardwood lumber. It's going to Steinbeck, actually. I'm gonna deliver this thing tomorrow. And the other stuff I'll deliver Thursday morning, probably. Uh, that stuff's going to Winnipeg. Bit of a mismatched load, but... It's getting us back, it's getting us moving. My hands smell like soap. As should yours. These people are not social distancing. That's okay, they're living in the same truck, so it doesn't matter. That must be his daughter. Because you never know could be his wife that's half his age. You never know. <laughs> we just stopped here to wash our hands, take a quick bathroom break. Got myself a chocolate bar out of the vending machine. Wash my hands again. Now we're back. I want to get to the other side of the city, the other side of Minneapolis tonight. I don't know, maybe stop around Clearwater or... Uh, Alexandria. Not too sure how far we'll get tonight yet. I have five hours and four minutes remaining on my clock before I have to stop for tonight. We'll see what happens. load there at that rest area. Uh, we made it up to uh, the Speedway truck stop, I think that's what it's called, Speedway? Speed line, something like that. Just before Clearwater on the way west in Minnesota on I-94. I forget what exit it was. Uh, we stopped there for the night, found a good spot off on our own, had a great sleep. Uh, today, which is going to be tomorrow's vlog, we go the rest of the way, which is about another six hours. And I have all day to do it because I don't deliver my first stop in Steinbach till tomorrow, the next day in the morning. So I got all day to do six hours of driving. Got across the border today. Everything should be ready. They said that my uh, my bills and customs papers are all ready and in order. So they should be ready for me at the border. And uh, I made myself available for as soon as I deliver my second stop, which will be in Winnipeg, right after I deliver Steinbeck. So I go to Steinbeck, go to Winnipeg, deliver, and then I, I made myself available to keep going right away. And they, they made some kind of comment about Jackson, Tennessee. But I cannot confirm that at this point. I told him right away, as off the bat, didn't even hesitate. I said, yep, yeah, I'm your man, let's go. Jackson, Tennessee, let's go. But uh, if that comes to pass or not, we'll see. Hopefully they got something for me that I can just you know, get going right away. Because uh, I just want to keep moving. I'm just in the mood to work. The truck has been running very well. And uh, thankful for that. And I just want to, I just want to keep going, going, going on. I'm going to have to go all summer pretty much because of the, the bad first quarter that I had, the bad first quarter that we all had. Plus on top of that, the extra bad first quarter that I had because of all the maintenance. That's why my quarter was bad. But you know, with everything sort of on a decline right now as well, there's less stuff moving around and you know, I just want to grab up and gobble up everything I can and uh, haul as much freight as I can during this and hopefully Hopefully we can make it through it and come out the other side relatively unscathed, but uh, there will be, you know, scratches and marks and scars a little bit from it, but as long as our heart's still beating, there's food in the fridge at home and fuel in my tanks and freight to haul, we're still good to go, right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, tuning into my channel here and following me on my life. Uh, if you're new here, 
Uh, you're welcome to subscribe. We make a new video pretty much every day. Uh, it's, I've been doing this for, what, seven or eight years or something? It's just sort of documenting my life. It's a video blog of, uh, sort of like a collection of my thoughts. Not necessarily just about trucking, but there is a lot of trucking content because that's what I happen to do for a living and that's what I happen to be passionate about. So it's, it's what I talk about a lot and what, what I do a lot of. So you're gonna get a lot of that here. But uh, a blog is a, uh, well, this is a vlog, so it's a video blog. It's a, it's a video collection of my thoughts. Um, I'm not here to be an educational channel. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a barrel of knowledge. I'm here learning just like you guys. But uh, this is me just dumping my thoughts into the internet and seeing what comes back. So far, it's been a positive experience because all of you are here with me. So I appreciate it, guys and gals. Don't forget. Apparently, I can't say just guys anymore. But you, you girls know what I mean when I say you guys. That means everybody, right? You, you know that. You guys are smart. I've got a great audience. You know, I had a friend of mine recently talking to me. And he was complimenting you guys. He was saying, you know, he's watched a lot of other YouTube channels and a lot of YouTubers. And there's a lot of miserable people on the internet. We all know. We all know them. Maybe you know one of them personally. But most of us don't. Because they're keyboard warriors. You know, they're all angry behind their keyboard. But once you meet them in person, they're actually decent people who keep their mouth shut. But, uh... You know, I don't have a lot of trolls on my on my account. My comment section is always pretty pretty wholesome for the most part. And uh, you guys are great. You're supportive. You're here with me every day. Uh, even when I have bad quality, you still watch it. You still give the thumbs up. And I appreciate that. And I want you to know that that uh, I really value and cherish the internet friendship that we have created here. Even though you know me a lot better than I know you. Uh, a lot better. It's it's crazy because uh, I don't know who's watching my videos. I, I really don't know You could be some rich millionaire billionaire somewhere in the world watching little old me But in the comment section, you know, it's all a level playing field. I don't know who you are. You could be someone famous I had a musician uh, email me recently that they watched my videos and it's actually a famous musician that I, I I'm a big fan of and he emailed me and said, hey, I love your videos. I'm glad glad for what you do. Thanks for keeping the freight moving. And I was just like speechless. Just sitting there just like wide-eyed. Like, I watch you all the time. I love your music. You watch my videos? <laughs> Who knows? A lot of guys are truckers just like me. Maybe you're politicians. I know that there's uh, some of you people on the border who watch the border that watch my videos, I know you do. Sometimes you let it slip because you ask me how Diesel's doing instead of asking me how my dog is doing. So giving away that you know his name. Your secret's safe with me. You watch Trucker Josh vlogs, I know you do. And there's also police officers that watch my video. Uh, RCMP, US police officers. There's federal police that watch my video. There's a. Uh, People who work in the government in Washington, D.C. who have reached out to me, who, who have stumbled across my videos at one point or another and just wanted to say, hey, cool videos, thanks for making them and stuff. People in the government in Ottawa, in Canada, and from around the world as well. It's What I'm trying to say is that you guys know me a lot more than I know you. I don't know your story, I don't know who you are, but I appreciate you, and, and thanks for hanging out here with me day by day. Uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, gives me something to do in my spare time, making videos for you. And uh, it's nice to just be able to get my thoughts just out onto the internet. And you know, I learn a lot from you guys. Sometimes I realize I'm wrong. Other times I'm like, yeah, I guess I was right about that, because a lot of people agree with me. You know, so I'm just an average guy doing my job and hanging out with you. And I hope to hang out with you tomorrow too. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below if you feel like it. And I'll see you tomorrow.